This is the story of one of the most contentious houseplants in history. A plant that sparked an absolute dumpster fire in the houseplant community when the largest houseplant producer in the world promised to grow tens of thousands of it and failed. A plant with a confused story and origin. This is the story of the Monstera Deliciosa Thai constellation. Our story begins in the 1970s in Thailand, where a Monstera Deliciosa has made its way onto Thai soil. The Deliciosa is native to Central and Southern America, and a few observations have been made in China, though these may have been imported. It's unknown, but the variegated version of the Deliciosa likely mutated naturally over time. It's widely speculated that this occurred in Thailand. By the 1980s, seeing its beauty, cuttings of the plant were beginning to be passed around by local collectors. One specimen was sold to a Puerto Rican collector in 1984. This plant can be seen here in Puerto Rico in 2013. In the mid-1990s, Mr. Jiu of Unyanami Garden had a large specimen growing in Bangkok. According to the botanist Barry Yinger, at that time the plant wasn't available in the markets in Bangkok and it had no cultivar name. Mr. Yinger continues explaining how he brought the plant into the US. My nursery partner and I brought back some as stock plants. I don't recall the price but they were eye-wateringly expensive. We propagated it from cuttings and started to sell them around 2003 from my US nursery Asiatica. I can't take credit for finding this mutation, but I did bring it into cultivation and named it. Holy sh! this is the guy who named Thai Constellation. But we're just getting started. From 2000 to 2014, the plant was sold around the world under various names such as Albo Maculata, Salt and Pepper Monstera, Cheesecake Monstera, and the forever incorrect split leaf philodendron. The now defunct mutantpalm.com shows off their price list in 2004 offering five different varieties of variegated monstera. The Chicago Botanic Garden even acquired one in the 2010s. This photo from an unknown location was taken in 2014 and shows what must be a 10 to 20 year old plant. The large, beautiful variegated Monstera Deliciosa graced only the luckiest gardens in the world. But this plant would soon be commonplace. At least, that was the promise. I'm super excited. This year we won uh, at the Tropical Plant Industry Exhibition, new plant of the new indoor plant of the year uh, with Monstera Thai Constellation. Uh, stay tuned for Costa Farms for, for one of your days. But first, we gotta talk about tissue culture. To track down how the Taikon came into tissue culture, we reached out to Kassetsar University in Bangkok. We were then referred to a professor who confirmed the first mother plant was considered a natural mutant, not a hybrid of epiprenum or even a GMO. And when we started coming across photos of Mike Rimland of Costa Farms running in the same plant circles, we knew we were getting close. That professor then referred us to the first lab to ever tissue culture the Thai constellation. In 2015, the Monstera Deliciosa Thai constellation was brought into tissue culture successfully by this lab. It was explained to us that the mother plant was initially acquired at a Bangkok market about eight years ago. Plantlets were then exported across the world and into the USA. It was at this point that multiple labs began tissue culturing the variegated Monstera. So let's recap. We've got Barry Yinger, who brought the Thai constellation to the United States and named it. Then we have the lab that brought it into tissue culture. So how did Costa Farms end up winning an award for this plant? In 2018, we actually acquired our own first Thai constellation for $35. This one seen here. We're now approaching the moment in time when the Thai constellation could not be set alone without thinking or hearing Costa Farms. On January 23rd, 2020, at the TPIE Tropical Plant International Expo, Costa Farms won new indoor plant of the year and said that the Thai constellation would be hitting stores in 2021. This broke the internet. 
It was already a popular plant, and Costa had the reputation of making plants available and affordable, and the plant-demic was about to magnify the situation. After the win at TPIE in January 2020, Costa had a drastic increase in social media presence, their Instagram growth nearly 10 x Before TPIE announcement, they were adding 1 to 500 followers per month. Now, they were adding a few thousand per month. Of course, the plantdemic added to this. By March 2020, communications were still on target for a 2021 release date. Later in the year, in October, a five-person Thai Constellation giveaway was announced on Costa Farm socials. By the next day, this giveaway made a little more sense as they delivered the bad news that the release of the Thai Constellation would be pushed back into 2022. We reached out to Justin Hancock, a horticulturist with Costa Farms, to finally get some answers on exactly what happened. Justin said, the project came down to scale. Costa Farms needed to supply lots of the big box stores across the country and didn't want to just give some supply to certain areas, not others. They needed lots and lots of plants. But this begs the question, how can you win an award for a plant of the year if the scale is not yet there and you're not yet an expert at growing this plant and you also weren't the one to create it? In early 2021, a retail test happened, where Costa Farms sent plants to the Kroger-owned Fred Meyer in the Pacific Northwest. People lined up at these stores and they sold out in minutes. The large plants were $80 for a 10-inch pot. It's worth noting that a Fred Meyer floral buyer did leak the store list, which would have the Tycons in the Portland Facebook plant group. So that did lead to these plants selling out faster than normal. The problem with these $80 Tycons was that they suffered from the classical Tycon root rot issue. The Ty constellation, more than any other aeroid, suffered from root rot and stem rot. In mid-2021, more Kroger-owned stores in Ohio received Ty constellations for around that $80 mark. Justin from Costa does mention here that retailers do set the price. Costa Farms does not. On August 5th, 2021, Ashley Anita released her tour of Costa Farms Farms, when are they going to get a Thai constellation? Where so Mike Rimland and Marcos Garcia show off their Thai constellations and speak to the issue of scale. Mike mentions the target would now be late 2022, maybe even 2023. You know, okay. it's it's a moving target because, again, it's about having enough for yeah. North America. And Two the production years is after the originally promised date, to say the least. On March 3rd, 2022, Costa posts on their Instagram and says, Unfortunately, Thai Constellation has some quirks that are preventing us from producing the tens of thousands of baby plants we need from tissue culture. We can no longer give a release date for Thai Constellation. They continue on to say, We'll be offering 200 of our oldest mother plants to some of our retail partners and donating the sales of these plants. Well, I can confidently tell you they were about to piss off a whole lot of people. One month later, Costa Farms released the 200 mother plants with Walmart.com and the price was $600 and they sold out in 5 minutes. The $600 price tag bothered some people, but what bothered most is that not enough heads up was given to get one of the $600 plants. And the $80 to $600 jump did bother some other people. But hey, they did give away $120,000 of the total revenue to the Nature Conservancy. But again, we had the problem of root rot. Recipients of the $600 Tycons were having trouble once they repotted the plants. Costa Farms did replace the sick plants with root rot. A year later, in June 2023, 4-inch pots of Thai Constellation sell for around $50 to $100 in the USA. Costa Farms has still not released their Thai Constellations, and I would personally be shocked if they ever do. The Thai Constellation still suffers from root and stem rot, especially in new batches of tissue culture, but it does remain one of the most beautiful and sought-after houseplants of all time. Thai Constellation is claimed by many as their own. The only thing we know is that humans didn't create it, but instead, nature did.